Have you ever felt that your heart starts racing out of nowhere, or find yourself short of breath during simple tasks? Maybe feel dizzy for no apparent reason? This is a reality for around 1% of the world population. They live with atrial fibrillation, the most common type of arrhythmia and the leading cause of stroke. Atrial fibrillation, or AF for short, is a chaotic electrical activation in the upper chambers of the heart, which are called the atria. You can imagine AF works as a room full of drummers, where each drummer tries to follow their neighbor's rhythm, but gets delayed or gets ahead, resulting in offbeat percussions. There are two main treatments for AF, pharmacological therapy and ablation therapy, which is currently the most effective. Ablation is a minimally invasive procedure. It involves inserting into the heart a thin flexible tube called a catheter, equipped with small electrodes that are used to destroy tissue responsible for triggering AF. In practice, ablation follows a one-size-fits-all strategy, ignoring patient variability and often leading to AF coming back within a year. With the Down AF project, we aim to non-invasively find ablation strategies that are better suited for the patient. But how do we do this? With digital twins. Imagine that we have a virtual copy of the real patient's heart where we can emulate its response to different treatments. This is a cardiac digital twin. In Down AF, we propose a three-step workflow with digital twins to assist ablation therapy. The first step is acquisition, where we non-invasively collect measurements of the patient's heart to create a computational representation of the atria. The second step is planning, where we simulate arrhythmia for different patterns of ablation with detailed mathematical models and select the strategy that stops AF during simulation. The third step is intervention. During the ablation procedure, we collect intracardiac data to validate our digital twin and inform the physician of the best strategy obtained during simulation to guide the ablation. Our workflow has rendered promising results and could be used in real-world medical practice. Through the Down AF project, we have gained a deeper understanding of AF and have developed methods to apply our approach even when resources are limited, such as classifiers to identify AF from simple models and efficient solvers to reconstruct the cardiac structure and simulate arrhythmia. The Down AF project brings together health institutes across countries, patient input and resource awareness to improve and expand the access to AF therapy. We expect that the experience of physicians assisting with our computational tools will significantly contribute to better recovery quality of life and treatment accessibility for AF patients.